2024's Atlantic hurricane season ended above average in just about every metric. For the National Hurricane Center, 2025 is about learning from last year and building on the best ways to clearly communicate threats to the public, especially those that aren't as obvious. One of the biggest changes last year will return this year, the experimental code. Thank goodness we launched it when we did. It was just in the nick of time uh, because then we had Helene, um, which produced the, the catastrophic impacts that reached all the way up into the Appalachian Mountains. And can you imagine trying to communicate that without that, without that experimental comb? As bad as it was, it would have been worse without that new, um, that, that new upgrade. The NHC will continue to supplement with this prototype and push the idea forward. Now notating areas where multiple watches and warnings are in effect. The NHC is also emphasizing the rip current risk associated with tropical systems by issuing a national rip current risk map when any tropical system is active. Even those that are hundreds and thousands of miles from shore can create life-threatening coastal conditions. Um, you know, these storms that move out to sea and, and people don't necessarily follow them, they don't get the media attention. You know, over 100 people per year here in the United States die from rip currents, which is a shocking number. Um, so we're going to uh, you know, try to increase the awareness and the visibility of this hazard. This year, forecasters at NHC are also looking to fine tune their communication of potential tropical cyclones or disturbances that haven't fully formed but are likely to strengthen and impact land. Why does it matter? Because some of these systems develop right on our doorstep meaning they go, they go from a disturbance to a hurricane right on our doorstep, leaving us with little advance notice. So, so one of the ways we're trying to combat this is we start writing advisories and treating it as if it were a full-fledged tropical storm. You know, the full suite of products, the full suite of watches and warnings. Now we can do it uh, as much as 72 hours or three days prior to impacting land. Stay with Weather Nation through the season for more on what you can expect. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Patrick Crawford.